Hello everyone and welcome back to Train Some TV. In today's video we're going to be having a look at the Class 57-6 Western Region pack created by Matthew Wilson of Vulcan Productions. Um, in this pack uh, you'll get a number of different 57-6s represented for the Western Region. This video is not a review, just to let you know, um, due to myself and Mark's involvement of Vulcan Productions. But what this video is intended to do is just to inform and show off what you can expect to see in the pack. Um, so. First of all, what I'm going to go over is the requirements. Um, there's three packs which you require. Uh, first of all is the European Asset uh, Pack, which is the European Asset and Local Pack. That's available on Steam. Second up is the Freightliner Class 57 Slash Zero Loco, again Steam. And finally, the Class 57 Sound Pack Pro from Armstrong Powerhouse. So, um, Next up, we're going to show you a few features. Um, so starting off uh, in the list is the kick plates, which you can see along um, around the doors, uh, on each door on the cabs. It's been modelled and put into place. We also have highly detailed decals for branding and liveries. Um, some of the decals I can show you on this one is um, like the decals down the side of the uh, loco body, so you've got all sorts of bits and pieces. As you can see there, like you've got compression intercooler drain, lifting points. I'm trying to find a few different ones here. Engine floor drain, fuel supply, and in case of fire, shut down engine and push button. <coughs> uh, next up. We have uh, the snow plows, which uh, work on a scripting um, manner. So basically, when you put your loco down, you can double click the loco, and the RV number would come up. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know what it is, but it is in the manual how you do this. And all you do is type it at the end of the number, press enter, and the plows would either show up or disappear, depending on what you want for your um, setup. Um, please note with TS limitations of the model, uh, the the cables actually come down the front of the plows rather than hide around the back of them so again that is just down to a model limitation um, nothing could be done around that unfortunately <coughs> excuse me um, next up we have um, the flush nose with new light clusters and elements so that is of course the the big key standout feature with the class 5760s it's got the new lights these have all been modeled customly and of course the nose as well, which has been uh, custom made and fitted on top of the Class 47. And of course we also have the centre light at the top there. So that's the iron lamp and also the handrails as well. We've also got um, number decals, so that numbers for the front, <coughs> and also ETS equipment. There's different fonts as well um, with the numbers, depending on what you want to uh, run and choose. Uh, there's also new roof exhaust as well, uh, which are here. You also got the, the side radiator pipes as well, which are the white pipes. So next up is the featured liveries. You'll get first Great Western, Great Western Railway. There's also included class 57601 imported livery as seen in early 2000 on the FGW local hold services. Uh, we've also got FGW green and gold and the blue liveries. Also included is GW175 liveried 57604 Pendennis Castle, along with the GWR liveried carried by uh, 602, 603 and 605. Uh, we are on 603. 
also with the pack you get uh, four scenarios but the scenario we're running today is one which I found off UK Train Sim so we're going to have a little play with that uh, we're not going to run the whole scenario because it runs down to um, Plymouth but we'll probably run part of the way maybe up to new to that but just to have a little play with the uh, the pack and just have a look at it so we're going to get ourselves into the uh, the driving cab and get our local set up I've already set the lights up um, which these will work on H so I'm just going to show you quickly so they start off in default like that Alright, so I'm going to get me uh, the cab set up. Uh, the cab is exactly the the, uh, the same as the class We're on two Charlie 51 Exus and Davis to Penzance on this uh, run. This evening we'll be driving two Charlie 51 1753 Exus and Davis to Penzance. All known to be the local enthusiasts as the VegX. You're local this evening 57603 and you will be driving it as far as Plymouth where another driver will take over. Uh, we will most likely run to Newton Abbott which is a 20 mile run. Um, as it's quite a long run to Plymouth. It's a good 52 miles. We are also running on the rails in Devon and Cornwall route, which is available from um, Alan Thompson Sim and Vulcan Productions. Uh, there will be some links below for the route. Uh, there will also be a link, of course, for the 57 pack. So that you can find this and have a play for it yourself. a little bit choppy coming into it so there's quite a bit going on in the uh, in the AI side but just do bear with us on that it does sort itself out once we get leaving um, I will also put a link up for the scenario which is on UK Train Sim if you do wish to play this one I did a similar run at, um, to this on our showing off stream of the 57s uh, a couple of weeks ago on Train Sim TV it's a separate scenario, it's totally different to the one what I uh, showed. Um, we had a few issues with the one I showed.
So on this service, we are going to be calling out Dawlish Warren, Dawlish, Tinmouth, Newton Abbott, and then we'll uh, we'll depart um, and let the train continue on we'll towards Totnes and um, I think it's Totnes and Plymouth. Let me just double check that. Ivy Bridge then Plymouth. I'm not going to do any uh, more rambling on for a while now, um, I'm just going to let you enjoy the video and just enjoy the ride. Um, I will be back with you in a little while. Enjoy.
we will shortly be arriving at Dawlish Warren. Just about 0.8 of a mile away now. Again, I do apologise for the uh, the lag spikes on tail loads. Um, it's just it's an intense route that we're running. Um, there's a lot of detail going on. You just have to bear with us on that one. Slow down to 25 mile an hour as we take the loop into the platform. As we are a free car train, we're going to use the free car mark, which is just behind that window pillar there. We're now arriving into Dortmund about half a mile. It's not slowing down. It's a very picturesque route, this. Even though this is obviously it was the DTG version, uh, that obviously has been enhanced and updated in many uh, many ways. The team of uh, devs on this route have done a fantastic job. From stuff like this here, where the wall got replaced and rebuilt, to all little finer details that have been added in that DTG missed out. I slowed down a little bit too early.
we'll next be calling at Tinmouth and Newton Abbott.
So we're just under a mile now to Newton Abbott. I always find it comical with a newspaper that just rolls across the windscreen on the on the yeah, on the dash. Brilliant. fantastic cool little feature that came with the 57s back in the day. Again, uh, I do apologise for any uh, lag that might come through on the video. Um, I'm going to try and hopefully get rid of some of that because I'm going to upload it in uh, 60 FPS, uh, 1080 and all that. So hopefully it might cut some of it out. Um, again, um, it's just such an intense route that it, it does come with a bit of lag stuff in uh, in places, which is it's quite hard to try and get rid of. I mean, I've done various reinstalls and it, it's still there. So I think it's just one of them things that's just going to be there with the route, but the route is still fantastic in its uh, in its own way. I do recommend the route as well. Not a milk bottle there. I'll have to go and find out what that is. <coughs> Hopefully, I'll bring you a video at some point without coughing. <laughs> so, thank you very much for joining us, guys. Uh, we do hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully um, it's a pack that you'll all go and pick up. Uh, the links are down at the bottom, again at vulcanproductions.co.uk. I'll put the proper link in there for you to find it. Um, as well, there'll be a link for Rails and Devil and Cornwall if you wish to have a play with that route. Um, again, fully recommended. Um, don't forget you can catch us on twitch.tv at uh, twitch.tv for slash trainsomtv underscore tom and trainsomtv underscore mark. Tom's channel, which is my own, uh, that's the one that's more regular, um, usually Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, obviously at the minute with the Christmas period it's a little bit here and there um, with all these festivities and everything that's going on. Soon be back to normal though in the new year. Um, do feel free to like, share, subscribe and just, just any feedback is always good. We like to hear back from you and we can improve ourselves for future reference. Um, so once again guys, thank you very much for joining us. We're going to watch this 57 um, continue on towards uh, Plymouth and then that will be the end of the video. Take care guys, have a fantastic new year. If we don't do a video before, again, thank you for all your support over the uh, 2019 period. Take care, everyone.